What's up guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, we're going to learn Filmora 13 basic animation, including the keyframe panel or the grab editor. Okay, so with Filmora 13, there are many ways to create animation effect for your text, image, and video. So you can use the preset motion or you can add animation keyframe yourself. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to create animation effect in Filmora 13 in less than five minutes. And being mentioned that this video is sponsored by one Wondershare Filmora. If you want to try Filmora 13, go ahead to the link in the description. And if you want to purchase it, don't forget to use my 20% discount coupon code to save your money. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. Alright, and this is my Filmora 13 user interface and currently I'm using Filmora 13.0.56. This is the latest version of the software. And the first step we want to do is to create a basic animation for our video, such as the fade in and fade out effect for a video. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. This is the stop footage. Just right and drop it onto the timeline and this video has no animation. Okay. And now, what if I want to create a fade in and fade out effect for this video? First up, we want to move our playhead to the beginning of the video. And then we want to select this option. This is the keyframing option. So we want to click here to add the animation keyframe. And the next thing we want to do is to reduce the opacity of this keyframe to zero. Okay, but now I will close the keyframe panel because we are going to talk about it later. Okay, so at the first keyframe, we want to reduce the opacity to zero. And this is the opacity, so we want to reduce it to zero. And then we want to move our playhead, maybe some frame forward like this, and then we can increase the opacity. Okay, by doing this, we can create a fade in effect for our video. Okay, so let's play it. Nice, right? And if we want to extend the duration of the animation, we can just click here at the second keyframe and move it to here. And then let's play it. And now the animation effect will be about one second. Okay. And we can do the same for the fade out effect. Okay, just put the playhead here. And then we can add the first keyframe. And then we can move the playhead to this position and reduce the opacity to zero and let's click OK and this is the fade in and fade out effect with just some animation keyframe OK nice right and actually we can do the same for text and image also for example I can go back to photo I can just put this photo on the timeline, okay? For example, I want to overlay a photo here and I want to create a movement for my photo, okay? And it is a photo, by the way, we want to delete the effect first. And now it is uh, just a still photo and it will be here at the center of the screen. But I want to create a movement for it so it will move from the left to the right. I'm sorry, from the left to the center and then at the center, it will move to the right. And now we can add a keyframe. For example, I want to add the first keyframe here at this position. And I can move my playhead to this position. And now I can use the position slider to move the image to the left. Okay. Something will look like this. All right, and this is the animation effect for the image. Nice, right? And now at the center, I want to stay here for a while and then I will move it to the right. So now we need to add another keyframe. Just click here to add another keyframe and put the playhead here. And we want to click here and use this slider again to move it all the way to the right. And let's play the video again. Alright, so this is how you can add animation keyframe to control the opacity and position of the image or video in Filmora 13. By the way, in Filmora 13, we have the keyframe panel where we can create more realistic animation effect with the ease in and ease out option. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so first up, we want to select the image here and select the keyframe and we want to click this button, keyframe panel, okay. And now you see a bunch of different keyframes here. By the way, if we want to move 
the playhead here, it will show the keyframe. For example, this is the, the first keyframe for the image at the position. So the first position is outside of the screen. And this is the second position of the image. It will be at the center of the screen. And this is another keyframe and it is still at the center. And this one is outside of the screen. Okay, and now in Filmora 13, we can highlight all the keyframe here, for example, for the position. And we can select is in and is out for our image. Just click here and click here. So the animation effect will look more real when we use the is in and is out option. Okay, so let's play the video so that you can see the difference. Nice, right? And let's go back to the keyframe panel by double click at the image here. And at this keyframe panel, if you want to select an animation option for your keyframe, you want to highlight or select the keyframe here at the keyframe panel and you see the option here. So there are three main animation keyframe option here. The first one is is in and is out and linear. So you want to see the difference, just play around with the keyframe panel. By the way, I already created a sample project to show you the difference between this option. Okay, so let's open my example project. Okay, so this is my demo project and first up we have three circles here, one, two, three. And in each circle we have two keyframes. The first keyframe is this position and another keyframe is at this position, at the same position. So the distance is the same, okay? But at the first circle we add two keyframes and we use linear option. Okay, just double click at the first one and we see here this is the first keyframe and this is the second keyframe. And at this keyframe, I use linear. So, and at the second one, we use is in. So we can just double click here at the second one. And we have the first keyframe and the second keyframe. And we have is in option. And the third one is is out. Okay, and let's play the video. So you see the difference between linear, is in, and is out. Okay, so let's play the video. Okay, and let's play it again. Okay, so you see that there's different here, right? For the linear option, the speed of the circle number one is just the same all the time. And for the second one, this is, is in, meaning that uh, at this position, it will slow down. And for this position, at the beginning of the animation, it will be just slower than other. And for the third one, it is is out, so the speed at the beginning will be a little bit higher in comparison with one and two. Okay, something will look like this, and you see the difference here. Okay, all right. So I hope you understand what I mean in this sample project. All right. So this is everything you want to know about Filmora 13 basic animation, including the keyframe panel. I hope this video is helpful for you. To access more tutorials like this, you want to click at the Creator Hub at the start page of Filmora 13. If you have any questions, just let me know at the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!